Thank you. Okay, where's your home? Iowa City. Iowa City, actually. Really? Yeah. Not a Hawkeye, right? Absolutely. I'm a Cyclone, so here we go again. Good to see you again, Robert. Hey, you too. How's, to how's Cricks? Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Well, now, you go from, you that go from the caucus to the... Uh, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just Yeah, it's great. Are yeah. yeah. they making a lot of noise down there? Yeah, it's worse. It works. Yeah. How many people? So, I think we have about 60 or 70. Really? Yeah, probably so. Yeah. Well... The one thing I hope yeah. was that the group was not who mm-hmm. can explain that. Yeah, no, they had found like out about it. I think that's absolutely the problem. And that's the same. Yeah, Excuse me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I know we're not there at all. I'm sorry. We're going to do an interview with you? You want to? I'd like to. Are you good, Robert? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, son. I'll leave my campaign glass here. If you would like to. Yeah. You could also hold on to it. If well, you know. That's pretty good. Uh, in I'll front of Thomas good. Jefferson here. That's yeah. pretty good. All right. Yeah. All right. Great. Excellent. You good? Yep. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Tom, just give me your name. Spell it for us. Tom Hoops. H-O-O-P-E-S. And uh, Mr. C uh, visited your farm back in 1985. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah, he and four other delegates. All right. Right. You uh, said earlier to me... Uh, that you were really looking forward to this. Did uh, he fulfill your expectations? He went over the top. I, I have never been around anyone who worked a, an audience like he did. And and in, in lieu of the fact that it was a two-language situation, he, he worked it as sincere as my first impression of ever having heard him talk since I was only with him for maybe an hour and a half that day at the farm to just see him one-on-one. He, he's over the top. He really is. I, I think, wow, what a guy. Do you think that uh, in the future this visit could potentially spell good things for Iowa There's agriculture? There's no question about it. I think Governor Branstead and, and his staff in, in Des Moines and the Landy family and Joni Axel and, and what close friends that he had in Muscatine beyond me, I think we've, we've definitely planted a seed that... Uh, I think is going to lead to great things. I really do. What else would you want me to know? I hope he doesn't wait 27 more years to come back because I might not be here in 27 years, and I'd like to see him again. And and I would like to see him, and, and I know it's impossible with his political situation, but I wish we could have had more time. That 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 would be my only regret. But I, I I'm humbled that he... He, he chose, while he made the Iowa visit, to come back and to think enough of us to come back and, and, in, and even in the limited window that he had to visit with us, that he took the effort. And it, it, I mean, it was a major undertaking to logistically move someone like him for the short period of time. But I was, like I said, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again, it was totally over the top and beyond my expectations, way beyond I understand he invited all of you to, to Beijing. Are you you go? If I can get a ticket, I'll go. Okay. Believe me. <laughs> Robert? Yeah, no, no, that's great. Thanks. Okay. Good. Thanks. 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 Um, Thanks. Good Thanks. Thank you. All right. We'll talk again. All right. Robert, okay. good to see you. Good to see you. Right. You bet. Good day. For sure. Both yeah. sight. <laughs> 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 okay. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for Turn to the window down. All right. Cool. Go down the bypass. Oh, hundreds, hundreds. Probably, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Can we talk to you? Tom Ritchie with AP? We met yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I did. I remember. Okay, cool, cool. I can't see you right now, but, but uh, that's all right. Now, now I have my cameraman with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good deal. Uh, first of all, give me your name and spell it, because somebody else is going to edit this, and I want to. My name is Vince Lawson, L-A-W-S-O-M. All right. And you were the director of the uh, agricultural farm. That is correct. Uh, talk to me a little bit about that initial visit when you came to that farm. Well, as I remember it, and it was a long time ago, um, they came out, the delegation of them, 
it was in the spring. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a lot planted at that time. I th- remember we had the hotbeds going, but I, mainly we kind of gathered in the shop and we talked about how the farm was set up and how we operated. Um, the kind of the interaction we had between the local growers and Iowa State University and how that kind of worked together to try and solve the problems that our growers have. Yeah. What about what about this evening? What did you uh, take away from this evening's event, or this afternoon's event? Well, you have to be kind of honored and uh, humbled and stuff that he remembered so much about that visit. It obviously made an impression on him. Um, it was a very interesting experience. You, think, you see this as another step in the possible economic uh, boost in trade or trade boost that uh, Iowa farmers might get out of this? Well, I would hope so. I mean, obviously, that's what everybody is hoping. Um, we can, we're good farmers here. We can produce an awful lot of good agricultural products. Obviously, more than we consume right here in Iowa. We need a place for you know, those products to go, and China seems like a good market for them. Um, good relations, you know, a good, honest relationship with them. It's got to be a plus. Anything else I should know? Glad he stopped by. <laughs> you know, it, again, it's an honor that he remembered Muscatine. He stopped to see the people. Um, he didn't have to. And he was a pretty, I, you can tell he's a busy man, and um, that's an honor for him to stop in Muscatine. Did you feel the honesty? Yeah, you know, you get the impression that he's very sincere when he says, you know, we're friends. Um, I grew up in, you know, a culture that didn't always feel that way. Um, And I think that was the wrong way to feel at that time. I think now is the time for us to be mutually respectful and um, open. Let's do business together to benefit both of us. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.